Hey, are you scared that the coronavirus might hit you? You might die from it? Well, if you're scared, then maybe you got something to think about. What are you scared of? What are you scared of? The fact that you might have to just leave this world. Well, that probably means that your attachment to this world was a little bit too much. Seriously, if death scares you, then it means your heart was attached too much to this world, a little bit too much. Or maybe the love of your family was above the love of Allah Azza wa Jal and his messenger. Yes, you never made the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam more of a family member that you look forward to seeing and hugging on the day of judgment than your own family. And that's why you're scared. We Muslims will avoid anything to do with the coronavirus. We'll avoid going to the places of coronavirus. We'll, we'll try and self-isolate. It's all in the hadith, that's fine. But we Muslims, if something like that was to come about, and if it hit us, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that when a person dies from the plague, they're a shaheed, they're a martyr. And if a person dies from the coronavirus, hopefully they are also shuhada, they're also martyrs. So a believer never loses. If I live, Alhamdulillah, I live. If I die, I'm a shaheed. If I die from the coronavirus right now, I'm a shaheed. My tawbah and my, my repentance should be updated. That's definite. I should have made Allah and His Messenger my focal point at all times of my life. Number one, Allah. Number two, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then my family and anyone else, whoever, my parents and so on, that's fine. But number one, Allah. Number two, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If I've kept doing that, I'll avoid getting in contact with the coronavirus. But if it hits me and if it kills me, then guess what? I've got better things to look forward to in the next life. That's how a believer should feel. Seriously. Why are you depressed for? Why are you sitting there? Oh my God, Jummah, Jummah is cancelled. Well, look, look, let me tell you this. The hadith is clear in Sahih Muslim. If you've been going for Jummah all these weeks of your life, and one week you couldn't go because of a because of an excuse, today in Jummah, tomorrow when you get to Jummah, you're going to find the full reward of Jumu'ah in your deeds, book of deeds on the Day of Judgment, for not going Jumu'ah. You know why? The Prophet ﷺ said, when a person becomes ill or when a person is traveling and they can't do the things they used to do before, Allah gives them the same reward. So the fact that you couldn't go to Jumu'ah or you can't go tomorrow to Jumu'ah, so what? You gain the reward. But if you weren't going to Jumu'ah, you're not going to get that reward. Now think about it. All the things you used to do, all the good things you used to do, Salah by Yul Jama'ah. A lot of people are getting depressed. Oh my God, I can't go to, uh, to the masjid for Salah because they've shut the masjid. Well, if you've been going for as many Salahs as you've been going before, you're getting the full reward of that. Right now, sitting home or doing, I mean, you shouldn't be just sitting home. You should be doing your Jama'ah at home. Right? Do the Jama'ah with your family. Because you're a person who's been doing bad, you know, with Jama'ah. And all those people who went to Jama'ah all these weeks, you're getting the reward for that. You went to Jama'ah, you're getting the reward for that. How does the believer lose that? You don't lose that. And if a person sitting there and thinking, oh my God, I might die from this. Well, maybe it's a good time for you to think about death. Maybe it's a good time for you to think about death. Because it's going to hit you one day anyway. And whatever's written for us is going to be coming our way anyway. Well, you know, we avoid going towards coronavirus or any any area that's hit. Just like just like in the hadith, it says if a place is there's a plague in a place, you're not supposed to go into that country where the plague is, and you're not those people there who've been struck by the plague. They're not supposed to come out and and you know come out of their place and give the plague to others, right? So that's there. We as Muslims, we're going to take that precaution. We're going to self-isolate or we're going to take the precaution fine. But in terms of the coronavirus, I don't see why people are being so moody and so on. Look, there's a lot of good that's going to come out of this. I'm telling you that this is the time when we should sit down and, and reflect, right? About all the good things that we've had. You can't travel with us, the ni'mah of Allah that you've had, right? We've got food. It's not like we're not, you know, it's not like we've got a famine or something. We haven't got food. SubhanAllah, I don't, I don't understand why people are being so depressed. Honestly, I don't understand. Allah Azza wa Jalla has given you everything, everything you've got, right? You've got, you've got your fridge, you've got your food in the fridge, you've got supermarkets that are full of food, all right? And, and they're going to carry on being supplied. Subhanallah, all you have to do is stay home. That's all you have to do. And you're getting depressed. Oh my God, food, my room, my room. Well, if food runs out, let's just talk about it, right? If food runs out, so what? It runs out. If we starve a little bit, so what? Honestly, so what? Be prepared for it. 
be, be a, an upright human being. Be prepared for it. If you're prepared for the worst, if you're prepared for death, then nothing can make you go down, my friend. Nothing can make you feel down. This is, this is why if, if, uh, if the pandemic goes into a worldwide crisis, guess what? You know, in some ways, there's going to be a lot of good coming. I don't, I don't hear, you know, a lot of people talking about war and this and that. No, everyone's thinking about themselves right now. You understand? They're not thinking about war out there. You know, a lot of good is probably going to come out of this. A lot of people are going to be thinking differently from what they were thinking beforehand. And you as a believer, sit down, get on with your life, cheer up and stop thinking that this is the end of the world. We know from the hadith, the end of the world will not happen until the jal comes and other, you know, the, there's going to be other signs of the last hour which haven't come yet. We know that. So, so it's not the end of the world. Second thing is, all this crisis and so on is going to shape human beings to be better. So the time right now is to get on with you, what we're supposed to be doing all this time anyway, which is ibadah. Get on with your ibadah. Get close to Allah. Don't do it just for the sake that the pandemic is here. We're supposed to be doing that beforehand anyway. Update your tawbah. Be ready. Anytime death comes, boom, gone to the next life. Inshallah, you're the shaheed and you'll have a better life over there. So stop worrying. Stop being depressed. Sit down, enjoy your life. You know, meet your family, do whatever else you want to do. Yeah? You know, don't feel that this is the last day you're going to be gone from the, from the earth. Oh my God. You've got a bigger family on the other side waiting for you, my friend. If you make it your Iliyin to the best place in the next world where all the good souls are, your, you know, forefathers, your, your aunties, uncles, whoever's passed away before, they're waiting for you. Right? You'll be over there. You'll be with a better family over there. So sit down, right? Enjoy your life. And either way, you win because you're a believer. Alhamdulillah.